So why does that happen? Well, pitch depends upon the length. If you look at a slide whistle, you see that you pull the plunger out and what you're doing is you're making the length of the tube larger. This is actually a closed end tube. This is the closed end and the open tube is where the exciter is. As I blow into the exciter, that creates a noise, but the pitch that you hear depends on how the length of the tube. What we see here is we go from a large length to a small length. The size of the wave actually decreases and it corresponds to whatever the length of the tube is. The um, minimum frequency or the natural frequency which is heard primarily is due to the one quarter of the wave fitting inside that closed end tube. Now we know that the formula for sound is the speed of sound is equal to wavelength times frequency and keep in mind that the speed of sound is going to be constant. So in this case we see that the length of A is larger than B and that's larger than C. So that means that the wavelength is larger in A compared to B compared to C. Consequently, the frequency here is smaller than B and B is smaller than C. So what we get is that frequency depends on the length of the tube.